Hello. I hope that that's going well. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, allergies are kicking my ass today. But uh, right now I'm just waiting for my sister to show up because right now she's uh, handling my nephew. <laughs> so give, me... <sighs> give me a little bit of a handful. Sorry, I just had to get some water there. <sighs> allergies suck. It's doubly weird when I didn't step out of the house today. So sorry that the voices might not be the best, but I will do my best for all my people. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> Alrighty. So today, if you were not aware, which you should be because you clicked on the video, um... My sister and I, we played the first term, I think, last week. Uh, we're going to be playing the second term this week. Uh, not exactly what I had planned. I planned to do the first and second in the same stream, but things come up, life happens. And so, second term today, which I have not had any insight on in the slightest. I don't know the new characters, but I'm very excited to meet them. I don't know any of the... Uh, I don't know any of the... Uh, what, what do you call them? Encounters? I don't know the layout, if it's gonna be like in the school again or if it's gonna be somewhere else. I, I, I'm I going in completely blind on this one. I think the only thing that I saw was a little box head guy with that smiley face emoji. If I can date him or them because they're a robot, if I can date them, I'm gonna date them. <laughs> I want I want a robot. That way, when the machine war happens, I'm in the clear. <clears throat> Here she comes! Right? This is a sibling? <gasps> da -da 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 -da. Oh! No, none for you. Why not? Because that's for the children on Halloween. I can't have one No, piece. you can't have Why one Why would you piece. put it out way before because Halloween? Because I had to put it's all the stickers. I had to put all the stickers on the candy. You don't understand. What stickers? The stickers that I bought on Etsy. There are no stickers. Not on those ones, you imbecile. Then on what ones? The caramel candy balls. Look at them. Yes. I'm taking one. No, you're not! Put it back! It's one. How dare you? Wait, how many kids do we get in our neighborhood on Halloween? You're gonna break we a get, like, child's heart. <laughs> what if some kids from and other no neighborhoods show up? no child likes up? caramel chocolate You're balls. a monster. It was all I could do for my costume, okay? <sighs> and it's one. It was all I could do for my costume. You're a monster. Taking candy from kids? Huh. Well, I guess that makes you perfect for the stream. Because it's monster prom time. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... We're two players. Going into... Kayla and Terry, are these the kinds of chocolates that I think they are? They're Palmer caramel balls. Oh, never mind. You're... Palmer's a good chocolate brand. I also just said your full name. <laughs> I don't know if you- did you say my full name? I did. Oh well. It happens. Alright, we're did going you into- sure turn the music down this time? Yeah, I turned it down to nine. Ooh, uh, if people want me to turn it up, then I can. But uh, ooh, movie night. Let's- let's open up the DLC. You want to do a short game or a full game? What did we play last time? We played a full game last time. Mm, a full game. Alright. Ah, spooky high school. We did this, right? Or is it changing now? Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid. Those are not gross. I like them. But always willing to live to life to the fullest. Also, they're kids. They will flock to sugar. You, Carson is in, an indicative sample of that. Yeah, but he knows the difference between good candy and bad candy. That's because he's a priss. Your no, son's a drama llama, I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> Your son does not have the palate of a god. He doesn't even like apples. He does and he doesn't. It's 
Mm -hmm. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh, oh, it's literally the same thing. No, no. Uh, uh, I have to go with the zero for the O. Uh, I like he, him pronouns because I don't get those in real life. I can do this. Well, I guess since we only had the choice between those same four characters as last time. Yeah. What would you name yours again? Zora. Alrighty, with an uh, uh with a zero. Yeah, with a zero. Whee! I don't remember if you use she or they. I use the they. Alrighty. Here we go. Uh, I'm gender fluid in real life, so and, uh, people typically don't use my he him pronouns around here, and it makes me very sad. So it would be nice to have those in a game. <laughs> I do when you're presenting as such. Well, yeah, you do. I'm talking about like people in town. Like even if I wear my pride pin, they uh... just they look at it and then they'll enunciate my uh, the gender that I am not at the moment. I know. Anyways. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. Ooh! 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 So, did they only add, like, two new characters? I thought there was, like, a whole other cast. I remember it. <coughs> I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. Because I have- uh, allergies are kicking my butt today. I woke up and allergies chose violence. Chose violence. Also, I like your new tattoo. Thank you. I didn't make it out. I could tell. <laughs> that does sound That's rude. Supposed to that mean. sounds rude, but I didn't mean it to come out like that. I meant that it was good. It also looks like it was like recent and uh, I'll give you the headphones after I hear everybody's voices cuz then I have to voice. Uh, I remember it clearly, three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight most charismatic classmates. Aw, aw, wait, look at the baby! He's got himbo eyes! Himbo? You don't know what a himbo is? What is a himbo? Oh my god, I know something you don't? Yeah. About romance? About romance? Alright, I'll explain it very quickly. Himbo, big, strong, dumb, but very, very nice. The difference okay. between a himbo and a bim- not a bimbo, a uh, himbo and- what, what would you even call, like, a jock, like, a mean, big, strong, dumb? What would you call that? I don't know, but he's a himbo. Uh, he's a big nice. Sure. Yeah, Kronk. Kronk's a himbo. Okay. A werewolf at- Oh, oh, he's so cute! <laughs> A werewolf athlete who compensates for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid- oh god. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Wait, school class- wait, I want to read what that is. Aw, Polly Geist, 22. I almost said 2022. 22, question mark. 22? She, may, she probably says she's 22, but she's probably like a few hundred years old. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Sweet Cheeks. President Sweet Cheeks. Got it. Ooh, that was the person that rejected you. Damien LeVay, 21. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Liam de Lioncourt, 4XX. Ooh, brooding. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid the fact that he was truly a lovable dork. Aww. So- I'm <laughs> 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 sorry. <laughs> Zoe. For- Ever? <laughs> I love that. An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. She is very cute. She ha probably tentacles. Who cares? Calculester. Calculester Hewlett Packard, version 1.0. Oh, oh, mine. Mine. Okay. Good luck winning oh, the love of a robot. Please already love. 
library computer who had become a sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. Alright, my favorite. My favorite by far. And Vera Oberlin, 23. A mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. She looks scary. She is. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who? I'm so nasally when I speak. Because you're sick. I, I'm not sick, it's allergies. We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. Okay, it was me last time. It was extreme. Fair point. <laughs> and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them. And now you're dying now. And conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Alrighty, here we go. Here's this for you. Welcome to the Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more? We're now in. We're now using our PhD to bullshit a diagnose. Wait. Oh, PhD and bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever. Trademark. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. Which is the coolest mythological creature? Oh wait. This is literally the same thing. Is it? Yeah. Uh, which one did you pick? Uh, the Invisible Hand of the Free Market, the Sphinx, who's super turned up and ready to party and wraps all our riddles, or your OC is your spirit animal. I think I picked the last one. This one? Yeah. Okay. You get the chance to produce a movie. Okay, this one's different. You get the chance to produce a movie. It's based on the most influential Russian novelist of the X1X century. I The, the, the 10 19th century. The 10 9th century have gone nuts and they don't remember anything about last night. And now they can, can't can find the manuscript of the brothers Karmanovs and does that ski they have to deliver today! Two cool guys walking away from rad explosions, but and they don't look at the explosions. They don't give a fuck about the explosions. They reflect on life and love. But it's super dope and kick-ass because they do some walking some walking away from never-ending explosions. Something about superheroes, but with a love triangle between a beautiful yet somewhat relatable girl, maybe she's always stating she's a mess, and two of the super hot heroes, which are also like vampires or pirates or both instant hit. I think out of all of these, this is the only one I understand, so... I choose the middle one. Of course you do. I thought you would pick the explosions because you want to get Mr. LeVay. Who? <laughs> Damien! Oh. Uh, what would be the most appealing in a love partner? <laughs> I know the exact one. <laughs> 50 <laughs> gigabytes of RAM. Uh... Soft fur. Big horn. Sharp wits. Kawaii eyes. Tentacles. And 50 gigabytes of RAM. Mmm, baby. Uh, I thought I mentioned something real quick. Yeah. When you, like, lean forward into the mic, I can hear you talking in the headphones, but I've not been able to hear you talk. Oh, that's because the gain's low. But the microphone on here can hear me, see? Ha la 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 la. You see the bar go up? It means that the microphone can hear me. I just want to make sure, because my friend last yeah, time no. mentioned that he could not hear us. I could turn up the gain if you feel more comfortable that way. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Better? Is that better for you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go with a big horn. Alrighty. Of course you will. Uh, what would be a- oh, wait! Another one?! What would be a killer accessory? Sailor Moon's magic wand, a necklace Ooh. with your own name in case you forget. Yeah! Shiny armor, a fabulous purse made from skin of the skin of your worst enemy, sunglasses. At night. At night. At night. Coolness itself. Coolness itself. <laughs> I don't Sailor have Moon's that, magic so. Wand, obviously. You're such a weave! Oh! 
me. I got it. I got the guy again. I forgot his name because my heart is set on C C Claude or whatever his name is. I'm gonna go to class. He he might be there. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity of this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Oh yeah, what am I rocking? Okay, now ten smarts, four boldness, seven creativity, three ch- Yeah, I'm not very charming. Five fun and seven money. Wait, go look at mine. <gasps> oh, Calgary Lester's in the class. Okay, yours are eight smart, six boldness, three creativity, five charm, seven fun, and five moony. Dang, I'm poor. Yeah, I'm richer than you because I got ten smarts I can save in the game, not in real life. <coughs> you spot Liam showing Calgary Lester some images on his phone. Two of your classmates interacting without without your inference. Unacceptable. You saunter over. I call this one. I forgot his voice for him. I call this one mournful macaroni on polyurethane cafeteria tray. If I had to describe it, I would say that it is haunting, challenging, and very artistic. Adjective is knowledge. Appreciating art. Well, if you appreciate that one, you'll really appreciate this next one. I call it pickled beets. And it is obviously even more artistic than that last piece I showed you. Query. How much artistic is Image 2 JPEG relative to Image 1 JPEG? Well, a lot more. Invalid quantity. Please provide a numerical value. Um, well, that's a ridiculous question. Everyone knows that art can't be objectively measured. Counterclaim. All things can be objectively measured. Temperature, altitude, smarts, boldness, charm- Mother- Yay! It seems like Calculester is going to list every single thing he can think of and or look up that- <coughs> Look up and that's a pretty long goddamn list. Looks like you need to resolve this. But whose side are you on? There are certainly some things- that one. I want that one! I want that one! He's so cute! Look at that face! How could I say no to that face? Sideways. Who cares? Okay. It's the computer emoji. There are certainly some things that can't be measured, Calculester. Like the Murray. Okay, well, this is the obvious choice then if I'm trying to get Calculester. Wow, Liam, it looks like you haven't read this obscure yet definitive classic. All art can be objectively measured. <laughs> We'll show you exactly how. By Kandinsky's extremely literal twin brother, sure. What? No, of course I've read that book. I was the first one to read it. I read it a hundred times. A hundred, which is an objective number. Just like art is objective. Hey, um, I gotta go real quick. Not to the library to go read that book or anything. Just, uh, to space. I have to go to space for a concert, a concert on an asteroid that you're not hip enough to know about. <laughs> I love Liam so much. I think they bought it. Wow. You truly know a lot about measuring things. Allow me to show my admiration by measuring you. <laughs> That's so mean. That's so mean. I know I'm short. You don't have to rub it in. Knowledge of measuring things, 9.6. Hair? <laughs> I don't... I He's calling me means. bald. Uh, well, yeah, I guess technically you don't have hair. Or maybe, maybe he's saying that it's the color black. Maybe uh, that's what maybe, he's saying. Yeah. Attractiveness. Excellent. Error. Stack overflow. Subject is too. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Did you kill I'm him? I'm sorry. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. You rush Calculester to the cafeteria's meat locker to cool him down, which gives you an opportunity to spend some t quality time together. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Calculester will be okay. Dang, almost killed the man on y'all's first All right, day. here's the mouse sister. Uh, I don't think I went here last time. I took you there. You weren't physically here, though. Oh, that's right. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative oral sex. You prefer, your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations. 
which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Okay, so we are on the same high school map, which is cool. I mean, I guess I should expect it second term. You're living your spookiest life when you hear the giggling of an eldritch cutie pie met by the snorting of an angry prince of hell. I'm not saying that that's definitely how you lost your horn. I'm just saying that's one of my headcanons for it. Headcanon? Yeah, how I imagine you lost it in my mind when I think of all the cool adventures everyone at Spooky High must have gone on before I joined you as a regular as a regular girl. Mm -hmm. Regular girls don't come up and ask if I nobly sacrifice my horn for the coven because I'm secretly horny for hope. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I also have an an Spooky High Seas Okay, did you mean A? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know grammar. But I also have a spooky- I, I'm just gonna A. I also have a spooky high seas AU where you- where the whole school is a pirate ship and you lost your horn to a bad case of scurvy. Huh? What?! Fuck scurvy! If I was a pirate, I'd get the only coolest- I'd only get the coolest disease! <laughs> I also wrote a human high AU where you're not missing your horn at all. You're missing a wang. Bro, how is a horn an analog for a wang? Also, don't answer that! Stop making up cannons about my head! The only cannons I like are the ones with two ends. <coughs> Wait, but... I'll happily stop making up head cannons if you tell me the real story. I don't like any of these options. I'm not doing a good Damien, I'm so sorry. You're doing fine. <laughs> my, my voice can't handle a Damien. You it's could like, just tell Z- <laughs> My sister was always here to cheer me up. <laughs> you could just tell Zoe that Damien lopped off one of his horns to piss off his dads. You feel like you heard that somewhere? But friends don't tell friends their other friends horny secrets. This looks like a job for lying. And maybe, just maybe, you can use your answer to impress one of the others. I wanna- one or the other of your very attractive classmates. As we all know, demon horns are a powerful aphrodisiac. It's not hard to imagine how Damien lost his wink. Who gives a fuck how Damien lost his horn? You should see what the other guy lost. It was most things. I need my tissues. Oh, that's crazy. Hey, Leslie. God. What? Nothing. I'm sorry! We're dying! Are we? <coughs> yes. That's fucking right! You should have seen the other guy! Guys! There were five of them! Oh my god, there were? Tell me all their names. I'm going to write them all down, including plenty of details so everyone knows the true story is. Yeah, totally! <laughs> they were all giants, and their names were Star Eater, Monstrous McNightmare, Death Fucker, and, uh, Beast Mode and Hope Killer. You finish for him. And the two of you quickly proceed to yes and the fuck out of this situation. You're talking about Death Fucker Shotgun. <laughs> Which is also a shotgun shotgun that shoots shotguns that shoots lasers. And the laser's on fire, and the fire is poison, you continue. And the poison is made of blood of- I'm sorry. <laughs> so dumb. And the poison is made out of the blood of beast mode, cause I killed him first. Mm -hmm. This is also interesting and important, and every single word of this super accurate story is going into this fanfiction. It's going to be the most accurate spooky high fic ever. I can't wait for the whole world to hear about it yet. this- I can't wait for the whole world to hear about that time that Hope Killer paid for taking his horn with his life and with uh, this- his trillion dollar inheritance you'll come up into a- into in a few years so everyone should fear you now. <laughs> way to sing your way out. <laughs> <laughs> way to yes and you're out of yourself out of this situation. 
You think after a few, you'd think after being a nightmare deity for a few centuries, she'd be a little harder to fuck with. Don't get me wrong, it's fun having someone around. I know I did more mur- who I, I know did more murders than I did once upon a time. She could just be a little much. Instead of worrying about whatever crazy shit she's going to write about missing my my, my horn missing. Why don't you and I focus on everything I have that isn't missing? So you're going for Damien again? I don't know yet. You don't you don't you don't want to get back your lost pride? Dang! That includes at least four <laughs> yeah, of your limbs. His it. other horn and his junk. <clears throat> awesome! You gain plus two charm and plus one smarts. <coughs> don't die. I'm trying not to. Everybody chooses a food. Say your choice out loud for the rest of the players before they click. Um, gnocchi. Chocolate caramel balls, because you fucked on them. I fucked on them? <laughs> you, you. I can't words. <laughs> I can't words. Because you disrespected, I... you came into my room, disrespected my Palmer chocolate caramel balls. They were gross. Then you shouldn't tasted... have taken one. I didn't know what they tasted like. How dare you. They tasted I dusty. challenge your gnocchi. Against my chocolate caramel balls, bitch. Player order is decided well, based on how unappealing a pizza would be with the chosen food. Yeah, you win. Wait, unappealing. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you win. Wait, wait. What? They didn't say it had to be a traditional pizza. A dessert pizza would not be very... I mean, would be very appealing with your chocolate caramel balls on them. Italian dish. With Italian dish. I need you to think about that for a second. Yeah, but the gnocchi has to be cooked. Potato like, balls? Shut up. Listen, it has to be like cooked. Cooked on a pizza. Right. You, the, li listen, that's what I'm saying. If you cook it on the pizza, they're going to be hard and crunchy and gross. But sweetheart, you boil them first and then you no, put them no. in the <laughs> oven with the pizza. <laughs> that's not how I would do it. I don't know if you person in chat can type... <laughs> But if you can, I will allow you to settle this debate within the next minute. And if you do not respond, fellow watcher, then I shall hit this random button, and the algorithm shall decide our fate. The timer is starting now. So how was your day today? <laughs> um, oh my god. It's good, I got a job interview, what? I just noticed, turn around, I just noticed that there's a kawaii face on the side of my headphones. Nuh-uh. Uh -huh. Look at it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is there another one? Yeah. Can I seize it? Is it the same? It's the same, but still adorable. Wow. How nice is that? So, so, job interview yes. at... Where exactly? I know where, but this is for the suspense. Yeah. Okay, not remember. that much suspense. You can say you don't remember. I'm I sorry. Know. I remember. It's um, <laughs> Rail Logistics Inc. I won't say exactly where. There's th this is the internet. I There's mean, they ninjas. Have companies oh, thank okay, goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Anyways, um, yeah, like, I'll basically be inspecting, like, train cars for damage and shit. Well, my ADHD has failed to make a mental timer for me. I think it's been a minute, but it could also have been 30 it's seconds. Been Here we go! Time. What? Bullshit. Fuck. Gang gang, I, I win. Alright, here you go. There's your mouse. Choose wisely. None of us have gone to the shop yet, but What it's... shop? There's the... a shop? Yeah, I here? told you, this character's a shopkeeper. Oh. And I have money. Yeah, you can buy stuff to boost your stats. Oh. Calculus. You walk up to see Damien, closely expecting Zoe's body. These two have gotten pretty chummy. Not like that, you pervert! <laughs> hey, what'd that mouth do? 
Why you say it like that? You sound like the chocolate lady from <laughs> Chocolate. I've always hated chocolate. Hi, Nephew. Baby. Yeah. You want to say hi to the people? Huh? I hit my head. You hit your head. Are you okay? Well, you look okay. Carson. Carson. Do you want to say hi? He does not. He's inspecting He's your not. Room. Why are you inspecting my room? Yes, I cleaned it. You're not my mom. Oh, he found the candy. It's over. He is such a <laughs> No, you can't have any. He's a child. Not yet. He's a child. You want me to give him candy before bed? Yeah. You, his mother. Yeah. Okay. Let him All right, one. Carson, which one do you want? You can have one. Which one? Pick it up. Not the... You can't have the whole thing, Carson. Pick one. You can't point to the basket and say, I want this one. <coughs> what you want, Carson? Anyways. There you go. Okay, that sounds bad, but wait for it. He needs help opening it for you. I'll, I'll read. Oh, that's one. That. Oh. Whoops. Oh, that one? That one is for eating whole live birds. Why do you have multiple mouths? Where are they? And that one? Crushing up the tiny little bird bones that the other mouth spits out. What about this mouth over here? That's for screaming obscenities undetectable to human ears. And what about this one? That one's for... Hmm. I don't actually know. I don't think I ever noticed that mouth before. Hi. Hey, Carson. You want to say hi? Hi. Yeah. Uh, that's my nephew. My dragon. Uh, do we want to play this game in front of your son? No. Hmm? My dragon. My dragon. You, you, what, what dragon? Oh, that's not your dragon, though. That's my dragon. That's my dragon. You keep oh, reading. Okay. I'll be back. Well, you're gonna have to make the decision. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, bye bye. It's Halloween. Yeah, it is Halloween. Uh, he's a little punk, but I love him. I've had so many forms throughout the year. Un unknowable void, eldritch deity, totem being sold by young cat girl, gelatinous monster, and now you got this sick new mouth that we gotta decide a function for. We? I'm not sure. I, I'm not just going to take suggestions. Actually, no. Wait, that sounds awesome. I will now take suggestions for what to do with this mouth. Time to come up with brilliant mouth use that will clearly impress one of these charismatic and dateable classmates. And now I wait for my sibling. <sighs> I don't know if I said wait for my classmate or not. I didn't mean it. Sibling! Yeah. Your choices have arrived. You must decide. What that new mouth do? What about a scream puke mouth for all those times when screaming or puking alone isn't just enough? Maybe one day this mouth could become the Zora kissing mouth. Ew, no, not that one. <laughs> you would rather the scream puke one? Yes. Oh my god! I don't know where this new mouth is located, but... What if it's on her face? I would assume he wouldn't be asking what that mouth does. What that mouth do? He asked what all the mouths do. Wait, you can do that? <coughs> <clears throat> well, the realm inside my many mouths is an improbable nightmare dimension which bends to my every whim, so sure. But how? I've been trying for years, and the best I've been able to do is salivate while sounding vaguely upset. If I could scream puke? Why, I could finally express how I truly feel about child beauty pageants. Fair enough. <laughs> it's so mean. Mm. They're, they're not 
about good things. Just to be clear, you can't do it. This is my mouth, so I'm the one who can do the screaming and the puking. I know, I know. That's just something I'll have to come up to terms, come to terms with, but... Do you think I could scream puke just one time? And do you think you could scream puke just one time? For me? Mm, well... Please! Fine. Just help me out here. Give me something disgusting to think about. Ooh! Toe fungus! Hog lagoons! Crony capitalism! <laughs> oh my god, look at her. Oh god. What she, she's an eldritch horror. What did you expect? More than that, to be honest. Well, this is a simpler form for our human minds. Oh. I guess, yeah. It's so beautiful. They should have sent a poet. They're going to prom together. I don't know why I'm even trying. Yeah, honestly, it seems like they would go to prom together. What they do send is Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, to clean up all the puke. Meanwhile, you and Damien grow a little closer. What is it? Crazy Martin, the werebear? Yeah, the werebear. He's a werewolf bear. No, Last not a werewolf. A he is a tiger. He is a werebear. So he is a bear. That is, he's a werebear. What about the wen bear? Oh, oh, I need to pick. Shut uh, up. That was ugh. Everyone asks, where is the bear? But nobody asks, how is the bear? Or, why is the bear? <laughs> <laughs> the why bear. You approach Scott and Calculester, sitting at a table conveniently located near a power outlet. Calculester is charging. Scott is confused. What, what do you mean you don't eat, bro? If you don't eat, how are you ever going to get swole? He's wearing a new shirt! He's wearing a new shirt! Come on! Come it's on! It's a Hawaiian button-up shirt. I don't care! He's precious! <sighs> this man, this, this they needs protected. They are they. I, I keep forget, I keep misgendering them and I feel bad. This blanket smells so I think it's really the name good. Lester. That's because I put it in the wash today. Yeah, okay, I, I, so I'm on ADHD medication right now, which... If you have ADHD, I would strongly recommend. For the first time in my life, I was able to completely focus and get, like, a ton of things done today. Which I never do. High five. I even made myself dinner. What do you mean oh, you don't you eat, bro? Yourself. Oh, I made myself a chicken breast with creamy ramen. Oh, yeah, you told me that. And green beans. You told me that. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean you don't eat? It was probably the best chicken breast I ever had, honestly. Well, besides mom's. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm telling. I said besides moms. Eh, second thought. If you don't eat, how are you gonna get- Oh, I already read it. Premise invalid. I am a robot. Robots do not get swole. Swelling in, hum in robots is always an extremely bad sign. No eating? No getting swole? How do you live, bro? Mm. Technically, I do not live. It is one of my greatest sources of sadness. Aww. Aw, don't be sad, buddy. I know what will cheer you up. Some pizza! You're not getting it, Scott, and I love you for that, but still. Pizza always cheers me up. Invalid suggestion. Pizza is food, which I do not eat. I am only designed to consume organic material. Only electricity. But... 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 You're pretty... You're actually pretty worried that Scott's head is going to explode. And then you're going to have to clean it up. Better find a way to satisfy his curiosity. Scott, electricity is the coolest and most energetic thing to eat. Have you ever tried to eat lightning? I'm worried that that'll get Scott killed, so... Calculester, when you say I am not designed to consume organic material, all I hear is you're not trying hard enough. Uh -uh, That's really uh -uh, mean! Uh -uh. I don't want to do either of these, they're both mean! Hey, don't touch the risk mouse! risk it for the biscuit! What do you mean, risk it for the biscuit? The risk first one, I highly doubt he will die. You want me to risk Scott's life? I highly doubt he will die. Uh, he seems too dumb to die. My, my <laughs> sweet, my sweet furry baby! That sounds weird, but it's true! I, for Lester! He <laughs> worked! <laughs> Lightning? That loud, bright thing that comes out of the sky? I hate lightning! <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> See, I told you. We're gonna get him killed. <laughs> Negative, Scott. <laughs> the loud thing is called thunder. Oh! What's well, lightning then? Uh, I may have spoke too soon. <laughs> You're gonna get him killed. I'm gonna get him killed. The bright thing that comes out of the sky, but without the noise. Oh, wow! Noise-free lightning?! Just like a fat-free protein shake, it sounds so energetic! I'll go eat some right now! Ah... Uh, Please do not. <laughs> it's too late. No! No! Scott is already running around outside with mouth open staring at the sky. Good thing it's not raining or anything. Now you get to enjoy some alone, sti alone time with Calculester. Okay, good. Hey. Let's trade places! Oh, I got an email. Everybody chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to <sighs> the players before clicking. Humans. An animal. You chose humans? Humans are animals. <laughs> uh, I'm going with my OG answer. Giraffes. <laughs> Alright. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I changed my answer. Whale shark. Is it cheating for me to use humans? Even though humans are animals, I know a lot of people I don't, don't see us cheating. as animals. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Okay, I'm going with humans. You're going with whale shark. Everybody choose an animal. Player order is decided based on how intriguing and who Game of Thrones house would be. Okay, you win. Wait, wait, wait. If it had the selected animal as its sigil. Mine wouldn't be intriguing. It would be creepy. A human as a Game of Thrones house sigil. Yeah, I definitely win that. Yeah, you get you get that. A whale shark though is l even le not less intriguing, but not any more intriguing. I'd be curious. All right. I'm not doing oh, is it so me? Hard. It's you, yeah. Okay, let's see. Where am I going? It's nighttime. We're going outdoors. You're going clubbing. That day, but during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might have distorted the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Pretty sure that was the same you gave plus two fun last time. I think it was, except for the ending bit. <sighs> Looking around, oh my god, my nose. <laughs> Looking around, you see Damien and Liam arguing about whether black metal is better than death metal. Suddenly, Damien stops arguing and sniffs the air. I can't sniff, so this is up to you. <laughs> He's got <to> sniff. <laughs> <laughs> You are truly the chosen. Whoa! <coughs> Wait, different Listen! outfits. Whoa! Sorry, he looks dope. Liam, you need to step your game up. He looks amazing. Okay. Shut up. Do you smell that? <laughs> yeah, it smells like Christian Dior and plot armor. Oh fuck! Oh no, it's the hunter. The monster hunter. Give me a second. I'm just gonna bring the tissues over. I'm dying. We're so sorry. We're both dying and just like. I have ugh. no idea. I haven't gone outside at all today and my allergies are killing me. I even took my medicine. That means it's not allergies. Well, I know it's not sickness because this might be disturbing to some people, but uh, I'll just mute the mic for this one. The color of mucus determines whether it's allergies or sick. We're good. Okay. Ouch, my knee. I'm up. sorry. Jesus. You shouldn't be Christ. so close to my chair. I'm not trying to be. I love you. No, you don't. Keep going. It's me, dickheads, and I brought enough crucifixes and holy water for the whole class! I don't know if I'm doing her voice right, because I haven't heard her yet. No, I like that voice. Okay. Oh, lucky me! I've been meaning to finish my take-home final for AP murder! Go ahead and just try to kill me. I'm the protagonist, bitch. 
She's right, unfortunately. This is a well-trod territory that we are, as they say, pretty fucked. Screw that! You've got a way to save- you got a- you got a- you got- you've got a way to save Damien and Liam without killing anybody. All you have to do is this. Bring everyone to tears with a mind-shattering guitar solo. Or throw a brick at her head. <laughs> Which one? Which throw one? a brick at her head. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I would have done the guitar solo. You're the polar opposite of me. You pull you out your emergency brick out of your backpack and chuck it at the Slayer's head. Ow! My consciousness! <laughs> of course, plot armor prevents the Slayer from being killed, but allows her to be knocked out when she's being an asshole. I just like the part where the brick hits her head. The three of you work together to drag her to the bathroom and put her head in the toilet. It's a bonding experience. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, Where imagine what would have happened go? if I would have played that guitar solo. We'd well, all be dead. None of us really go to the shop of person, so I'm just gonna go one time. Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you to stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So, take a look. Okay. Oh, so these are the things that can cause an event. A blanket with two cool. holes. Wait, how much is it? Okay, it'll tell you if you're too poor for it. So I'm too poor for these two. Of course I'm too poor for cocaine. But you're not too poor for too poor. the events. I don't want these events. I don't think they'll get me calculester. I'm, I'm being honest, this is a fan fiction, so... Uh, probably will get me to Zoe... A corpse definitely will get me to Damien. I don't think so. Are I you think... serious? I don't know. Oh, oh, it's like some kind of fashion accessory. If not, then it could get me to Liam. Two holes. Literally just a blanket with two holes in it. You have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume. But most Okay, this would be for Scott. Okay, these ones can just raise my... I'm literally going to waste my... I literally just wasted my turn on this because there's nothing that I need here. I'm so sad. I think it changes every time, but still. You get the whole point of running a business like this is to sell stuff to people, right? Well, I think you're missing the point, sweetheart. No, it did. Definitely did. That weekend. That weekend. Please, please. I'm gonna ruin you. Why? Because you ruined me last time! It said something happened to Halo. Yeah, me. I get to fuck you, you over. You ruined me first. <laughs> You're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you. <laughs> you spy a much more visible threat. Yo, fuck hammer. I need your advice about something. And besides, I thought I was helping you because I didn't think you wanted Damien. Do you know what the most powerful force on Earth is? Stronger than anvils or swords or my nine-pack abs? It's love. And I think I might just be in it. With your buddy Zora. And sure, love is already hardcore just because the feelings are so strong and that's badass. Excuse me. But the love is doubly as strong as and badass if it turns out that Zora is as hard- Excuse me, oh my god, I'm dying. Is as hardcore as think- as think they are. Oh, as I think they are. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was covered. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And of course, there's really only one way to judge a person's true soul. You know them pretty well. Do you know what their inner murder weapon would be? Um, duh, of course you do. By which you mean you're happy to totally make it up on the spot. If you ruin me, I will. Ruin and now is the time to hard. decide Zora's fate. Fun, right? Uh, don't be a dick. Unless you want to, in ca which case, totally go for it. Major cardio cardiovascular diseases. Zora is the ultimate murderer, the leading cause of death worldwide, and something capable of catching up to tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. An electric chair. That's how boring Zora is. They would just be standard government-regulated death, this one. That just sounded way funnier. <laughs> it did. 
Damn! How would I even have thought of that? If major cardiovascular disease were a knife, they would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever! If they were a sword, they would be two katanas! If they were a gun, they would be an atomic bomb! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, that's not a gun. It's the guns of airplanes. Airplanes have guns. Shh. <laughs> wow! A cardiovascular disease was raging in <laughs> I'm sorry, Zora, you canonically have cardiovascular disease now! I always knew it. <laughs> and I never knew it! Well, that's confusingly worded, to say the least. But luckily, since you were the one who started this metaphor, you know that Zora isn't likely to die. Unless they are dying to go to prom with Damien, in which by <coughs> case- BAM! You're welcome, Zora. You need three boldness yourself. Trade places. Everybody choose an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Tissue, because I need them right now. Lollipop, because it's the first thing I see. Lollipop, uh, that's a food, not an object. Ugh, fine. Um... <laughs> Dice. Dice versus pit tissue, let's go. Player order is decided based on how unsexy it would be to use the selected object as a sexual toy. I don't know. First, wait, uh, I don't know that much. How unsexy it would be. To how use unsexy it would be to use it. Now I don't know a lot about dice, or I don't know a lot about sex. It would definitely be tissues. Let's be real here. I don't know a lot about one. sex, but I know that a lot of people probably. I'm sure. Somebody I know there's a lot of D and D nerds out there. Dice up their ass. <laughs> 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 but once again, is it the joke? I don't know a lot about this, but is it like the joke that when you when guys like masturbate, they use tissues or something? Just <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. I'm not sure about anything. <laughs> <laughs> a little fragile minded. <laughs> auditorium and buy something. Nope, you're not tricking me this time. You don't want- a, they get new stuff every day, I think. Oh, uh, maybe one of my turns I'll go over there. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. Here he comes. Ugh, I knew I heard him. Sorry. It's okay. <coughs> I can't, you can't, we can't control Carson's behavior. Huh? No, you don't! Okay, I'm back. 
after dodgeball comes the obstacle course. You stare across the gym at it, terrified. As you, most of your classmates, there are giant centipedes, venomous bears, bloodthirsty magpies circling just under the ceiling, and animals so bizarre none of them can find words to describe them. I, no, so one one can barely find words to describe them. I can't weed. Morning, students. Oh, it's the were tiger. All right, class. I've imported this special course from Regular Creatures High School in New South Wales, Australia. Don't be afraid. I believe in each and every one of you. He's <coughs> terrifying. Welcome back. He's running a fever. He's running a fever? Is he okay? Probably not. His entire class has been sick at least once this week, so it's about his turn. Oh, no. Yeah, between last week and this week. Is it, like, cold or is it worse? Uh, one girl got sent home today with the stomach bug. His teacher was sick last Friday with the stomach bug. So it's a stomach bug. Probably. Okay, we shouldn't be giving him any sugar then. Yeah. He didn't eat that Reese's, did he? No. Okay, good. Did you toss it? Yes. Okay, good. Do you want to, like, to sit with him, maybe? Yeah. No. Are fine. you sure? He's not, like... He's not, like, dying, dying? No, no, no. He just feels a little warm. He's probably just, like, starting. Okay, so you just want to lay him down for a nap. Yeah. He's okay. chilling right now. He's just laying down. Alright. Alright, our door's open so we can hear him at the very least. Okay. Uh, don't be afraid, I believe in each and every one of you. These terrifying creatures will not break your will. I will not let you down, coach! Giant crocs don't scare me! This is not- this is not pee on my pants. Oh yeah, you guys are doing a dodgeball, uh, tournament against another school, I think, which is a bunch of animals. Oh, cool. Finally, we're the adversaries. What's that abomination over there even called? That would be a platypus. <laughs> You're terrified, little O. They have murder spikes. The males do. Okay, sorry, I thought I saw something. I'm gonna drag it to hell. The underworld has never seen such horror. Well, don't just stand there. Show them what you've got. <coughs> Clear the course. We've got to navigate, mates. Oi, hold my beer. Whoa, have a look at them. They're so cute. Let's slay them with kindness. The first one. Oh. Not so bold you are. As you take your first swaggery step, the animals fall silent and make way for three emus. The cousin to Ostrich. Their beaks are scarred, their feathers are torn, and all three have Dundee's mob bitch tattooed on their bodies. Uh-oh. <laughs> These are veterans of the Great Emu Wars. You're fucked. Everyone in the gym is fucked. <laughs> no! Not like this! There's still many, many sports I haven't played! Scott screams as emus stab his body parts. You can't do this to the Prince of Hell! Do you know who my dads are?! Damien resorts to pleading as the emus continue teabagging him. <laughs> oh no, Damien. Oh, here he comes. Carson? You alright? What's wrong? My dino. What? You wanna watch dinos? I will disinfect my room. Again, you don't want him really watching this. Maybe he's just tired because it's pretty warm down and maybe I'm tripping. Are you sure? Yeah. Obviously this is your fault. You probably shouldn't have yelled oi so loud. Where you going, buddy? The birds take your dignity. You lose two smarts and one boldness as a result of severe PTSD. <laughs> it's me! Uh, I want to go to... 
why I like theater. No, wait! I forgot the person's there! I forgot the person's there! No! You fool. I'm a fool! Uh, I hate this. I hate this. Mm -hmm. I hate this. Leave it alone, that's not yours. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't even sure. What are you? Daily. Uh, but look at my charm! <laughs> is, is it free? Yes, it's free! And I got 20 charm now! Carson, what are you doing? I closed the door. You're gonna close the door? Mama! <coughs> Mama! Yes, Mama's with me! Ow! Ow! Everybody chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Again. A movie. Again. Um, a quiet place in the spirit of Halloween. Fair point. Uh, also within the spirit of Halloween, uh, Hocus Pocus. Player orders decided based on how weird the fandom of the selected movie would be. How weird the fandom of the He put my headphones on. Uh, I win. Do you win? I think so. I feel like the fandom for Hocus Pocus is pretty normal. They walk around like witches, probably. Normal. <laughs> they probably do that that I Hocus Pocus Winifred walk. Jaylene? I'm sure they I haven't do gone first week. yet. I keep it. Uh, not Hello? my problem. <laughs> <laughs> The people for um, a qu the, I'm sorry, the you. fandom for A Quiet Place is just normal Halloween, like, horror buffs. They're you. That's I what they are. No. Hocus you Pocus fans are me. Jaleen, between you and me, who's the weird one? Okay, but, like, I'm fairly normal. There is a painted demon reindeer on my wall. That literally says there is a ring ting tingling from above. You have not much time. That's has nothing to do with the Hocus Pocus fandom. That has to do with me being nothing. the weirdest person in this room. Okay, but that proves nothing. I feel like we are at a crossroad. <gasps> I win. Also, put your headphones back on, Jaylene. Or do you want me to keep put them on? I shall put them no on. More candies. Uh -uh. They're not there. They're gone. They're gone. No more candies. Uh, the jack o' lantern came and took them. <coughs> week two. We got one more week after this. Who the hell is that? Who? I've never seen hey. this guy before. Yeah. He's at your table, so I guess you'll be going there. Who's that? I'm so tempted to go sit at these tables. Vera is spending her lunch scheming. Uh, as usual, Calculester looks on in a mechanical approximation of dismay. Yeah, it's a waddle. I love my nephew. <laughs> Sometimes. I know. <laughs> now, if I can just get the poison into the next shipment of the cafeteria food... The starving students will be forced to pay me inflated prices for my authentic food flakes. Vera, do not do this! Uh, why have you determined that it's unprofitable? I mean, why have you determined that it's unprofitable? No. Pathetic. Are you looking for a cut? Negative. Are you a Robocop? You have to tell me if you're a Robocop. I am not a law officer. But what you are planning to do is wrong. <sighs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> I just heard it. <laughs> I haven't heard him yet. Error. Cannot comply with inter internally contradictory instructions. Meltdown imminent. Oh, this could get ugly. You need to chill Calculester out. Or convince Vera to change her ways. Don't worry, Cal. Vera's just being uh, helpful. Sure, the poison may kill some people, but those who survive will be resistant to poison in the future or whatever. Calculester is right, Vera. I mean, did you even check to see if your poison is vegan-friendly? There we go. 
My god, you're right! My go-to poison uses basilisk blood as a base! It's good for routine political assassinations and killing people who disagree with me, but for a mass operation like this? The basilisk rights activists would be up in arms. And some of them have a lot of arms. Because they're octopi. Oh well, back to draw a drawing board. Looks like I'll have to find a plant-based poison to work with. Analysis. Friend is still attempting to unethically and unethically plan, but on a longer time scale and with a f animal friendly ingredients. Ah, oh, his voice is so cute. I will accept this marginal improvement. Halo, you are a good you are a technically good person. Technically a good person. Aw, he likes you. Probably. Alright, you. <coughs> I assume you're gonna be sitting with your boy. Oh, of course. Hey, Mama. What is it, Carson? Mama. It's the snake. Huh? Oh, yeah, it's my snake. Mm -hmm. That's sneaky. Mm -hmm. Read. I'm not the most comfortable with him going through all of my things. <laughs> Read, ho. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's a Niffler. When you get to Damien and Zoe's table, you find yourself in the middle of a pretty tense situation. Dahlia and Damien are sitting right next to each other, chewing their lunches way too hard and furiously ignoring each other. Okay, bye Carson. Zoe is staring- Wait a second, they just took two of my plushies! I better be giving those back. I, those are two of my favorites. Zoe is staring excitedly at two of the two of them, phone out, ready to film. O -M -T. Oh my god. Is this it? The final showdown between Stormy Blue Nightmare Dahlia and Spicy Red Baby Damien? <laughs> is today the day- the Aquinos finally claims the Aqu Aquinos. The Aquinos finally claim the eighth circle of hell. All right, guys, I've got my phone camera ready and rolling. You can you can start the bloodbath whenever you're ready. Uh, hmm. Any second now. Get a life. Give us a fucking break, will you? We're not gonna resolve the centuries-old dispute between our families in this cafeteria. It's anticlimactic. Hello. Yeah, I'm just sitting here because Damien's so scrawny and insignificant. I didn't notice him before I sat down. Okay, who is this fucker? Uh, she's an Aquinos, which is another type of demon, I think. Basically, these two are in a war against each other, but they're not gonna resolve it here. Man. And I'm just sitting here because fuck you! Yeah, fight! For the last time, it's not dramatically inappropriate! I, I read that wrong, but it's okay. Zoe does not respond. Instead, she wordlessly slides two knives across the table and waits patiently. So, what's your play here? Will you convince them to fight, or convince Zoe that there's something even juicier going on? Well, you know what they say. If you're not fighting someone to the death, it's usually because you have secret sexy feelings for them. Look, I know you guys can't actually fight for the Eighth Circle right now. But you must want to fuck each other up at least a little, right? How about a thumb war over dessert? Yep. This one? Yep. Weak. A thumb war? That's clearly beneath me. You know what's beneath you? Your butt! How dare you! One, two, three, four! I declare a thumb war! Five, six, seven, eight! My thumb is full of boiling hate! Ah, stop punching my thumb with your other hand! I will when you stop hitting mine with a hammer! Never! Your fruit cup is mine! <laughs> Not if Mr. Dynamic has anything- Di Dynamite has anything to say about it. I wrecked my voice so hard doing that. It hurts. <laughs> oh. Demon shoves a stick of dynamite into his fruit cup, destroying the cup, cracking Zoe's phone, and effectively ending the thumb war. Ah, yes! It is just as the poets say. In the contest of war, the only true winner is the dynamite salesman. 
and me because I got to blow up a fruit cup with the dynamite. <sighs> and me because I won the thumb war. The only thing you won is my fist in your mouth. Damien looks happier now because there's no better dessert than gratuitous violence. And he surely notice and he surely notices he got an extra portion, thanks to you. Alright. Everybody chooses a brand. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh brands, brands, brands. Funimation! Wait, no, Wizards of the Coast! Oreo. Oreo? Really? There's Nabisco is their brand. Nabisco? Okay. Nabisco versus Wizards of the Coast. Player order's order is decided based on how silly a mascot for the selected name brand would be. If the selected brand already has a mascot, compare it to the imaginary mascots of the other brands start debating now. Does Nabisco have a mascot? Yes. Hang on a second. We are, uh, what are we doing? Nabisco versus Wizards of the Coast mascots. Anyways, um, Nabisco versus what? Wizards of the Coast what mascots. Is, I don't even know what that is. What is that? Wizards of the Coast is who made D and D, Magic the Gathering, a lot of RPG games. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, come I have on! No idea what a mascot would even look like. Me neither. Let's do this! Where are you headed? Uh, I guess I'll go to class. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> you look so done. But that day, the teacher is just tired of teaching, so she recurs to the class technique of not giving a shit and putting on some kind of historical TV show for you to watch. What you don't expect is that it's super effective. God bless the golden era of television. The TV shows is the TV show is compelling thanks to the ridiculous amount of nudity and bloodshed. But at the same time, you actually learn a lot about history. You gain plus two smarts. You're minding your own business when Damien comes rushing through, punching everyone who's minding their own business. Fuck! I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I want to pull my own skull out and eat it. I'm so angry, I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in its fucking face! I'm so angry, I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I can become president and then use my nuclear codes to blow up the sun! And you! You're standing in my way! Move before I punch you so hard you'll remember with melancholy the times you and you could move without all your bones hurting! Oh no, violence incoming, think fast. Joke's on you, pal. I'm a pragmatist. I avoid any kind of ideal ide idealization of the past because it has no use. Therefore, I refuse feeling any kind of melancholy. No time to think of anything clever. Start dancing for no reason. Oh, that's hard. Uh, I choose the first one. Are you sure? Remember, during these ones, you could lose stats. First one? Or second one? First one? The second one. You did it! I think. You have no idea what to do, so you just start dancing a silly dance. It is really, really silly indeed. Before you realize, all your classmates have joined you in your silly little dance. What the fuck? Move or I will kill you dead, noob! But Damien, you can't deny they are actually moving. Where did Liam come from? Wait, Polygeist too? Yeah, quite the move they have. 
Clearly, even Damien can't fight against that logic. Maybe you should move, Damien. Don't be a loser. Yeah, as you just said, here you move or you die. All your classmates start chanting, Move or die! Move or die! I can't be too loud. Damien, frustrated by the crazy, mindless, but joyful mob you've created, finally leaves. Still, from afar, you can see an eternal fire burning in the back of his eyes. But for now, you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. Um... I tried to go to the auditorium last time, but it didn't work out, so I guess I'll go there now. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you are struck by the lightning of inspiration. You come up with the ultimate nickname for yourself. You tell everyone to call you by it. Also known as one of the seven most douchebaggyish moves in the world. But the nickname is so awesome, inish inventive, and appropriate that people decide to go with it. Quite the feat. You gain plus two creativity. What was the nickname? We, the devs, dare you to actually come up with a nickname for yourself and ask other players to call you by that name until the end of this run. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good at coming up with things. Call me <laughs> Halo Montoya the Third. <laughs> I hate you. Look at him. You notice Calculester taking one of his favorite succulents for a walk. He has succulents. Come on, he's so. <coughs> Calculester is my asexual dream come true. I hate you. Suddenly, the wolf pack come jogging around the corner and nearly crash into him. Uh -oh. Look at him! He looks so cool! He's all steampunk! Hey! Watch where you're going, nerd! I am terribly sorry. I simply take- I am I- I'm sorry, I can't read. He just looks so cool. I am terribly sorry. I was simply taking my succulent for its daily walk. I know that succulents do not require walks, but I believe they appreciate them. <laughs> what? Sorry, bro. I wasn't listening. I was too distracted by your lack of facial hair. I'm sorry? I mean, look at you! When's the last time you shaved? Never! Are you talking to me and my plans? If so, there is a simple explanation for our lack of facial hair. I myself am a robot, and my succulent is a succulent. Neither succulents nor robots grow facial hair. <laughs> I've got a succulent too, if you know what I mean. It's my long and it's long and hard, and I keep it in my pants. I call it my cactus. <laughs> That's so stupid. I hate that so much. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice bro. Good joke. Bump my fist with your fist, bro. Oh, you like succulents too? Can I see? Uh <laughs> No. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just be getting back to my walk then. No Not so fast, bro! We're not about to let your unmanly facial hair lacking asses just wander out of our halls, around our halls. We demand you grow a beard. Now! Well, that's certainly not going to happen, but maybe you can find another way to convince the wolf pack that Calculester is manly enough to walk these halls. I'm terrified. Sure, facial hair is manly, but you know what's even manlier? A face made entirely of glass and metal. Calculester does have facial hair. He just doesn't carry it with him all the time. And duh. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to ruin this. I'm gonna pick the second one because it seems like the unlikely option. And from what I have played in this game, the unlikely option tends to be right. <laughs> Boom. As you weave your devious lie, you slip one hand into your pocket and subtly text Polly. Moments later, she appears. It's Polly time! Whoa! Look at that! Somebody looking for a fake mustaches? I got all kinds. Handlebar, Fu Manchu, Weird Caterpillar, the Octobeard? I take payment in cash, credit, or nudes. Whoa! Calculester, are those all your mustaches? No. Half of them belong to my plant. I love him! I love him! 
The wolf pack is astounded. Calculester is pleased. As a bonus, you manage to replenish your fake mustache supply before Polly disappears. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. <gasps> oh! Something happens to you! To me! Remember what I did for you. Of course. You're engaged in your usual weekend routine, catching and watching fish have sex at the aquarium. Why were you doing that? I don't know. <laughs> Come up with a reason why you were watching fish have sex at the aquarium. Uh... Uh, scientific reasons? Okay, that's all I need to hear. When you run into Calculester. <laughs> <coughs> He's so Research. sweet. He's so sweet. You, you're in control of the Sorry, mouse. You're I in control of the mouse because that would be cheating if I wasn't. Hello, friend Zora. I was just attempting to gain insight into our into the courtship rituals of organic life forms. What about you? Same, you say awkwardly. You don't want anyone to know that you spend your all your weekend. All your weekends. All watching. my weekends. <laughs> yeah, all my weekends. It's all research. You got a problem? Uh, Zora wants to be a marine biologist when they grow up, you know. People say that fire genasi can't make it in that field. Thank you. Appreciate the support. You're welcome. Well, de well, designate this chance meeting fortuitous. You see, I am currently running a romantic subroutine with your friend Halo. Things appear to be going well, but I am experiencing what I believe may be doubts. I do not wish to waste precious cycles to on an, in, un, an unproductive union. Therefore, I must ask, is Halo open to copulating with a mechanical life form? Fuck yes. Oh, you say you want to know if Halo is down to fuck a robot? Wait, no. I mean, yeah, but no. Well, let me tell you. One time I went over to... Uh, my name is basically invisible. <laughs> One time I went over to Halo's house unannounced and found him with a vacuum cleaner with googly eyes and a wig and well let's just say the answer to your question is yes that sounds so sad have you noticed halo's cool haircut he got it from a leprechaun in exchange for promising to never fuck any robots like, ever i think the first option is our you have to pick option. it i can't pick it so it'll sorry. be cheating <sighs> you did it I thought you were gonna switch it on me, but you did. He didn't. said, "I believe I know that vacuum cleaner." I love him. I love him. I believe I know that vacuum cleaner. Curly blonde wig, ghouly eyes, one inch in diameter. Yes, that is Vicky Yum. She informed me recently that a certain organic life form had rocked her world, but would not divulge the name of said paramour. I believe she was worried I would steal her conquest, but now I know. It was Halo. <laughs> I'm so scared. My social life will die, but I'll at least have Calculester. Technically, your name is not Halo, it's Hal Zero. Hal Zero. <laughs> it's almost like Hal, but Hal Zero. Yeah. Hal Zero! Calculester! <laughs> <laughs> Why does that sound like right? <laughs> because it's true. He's the calcifer to my howl. Uh, suck it, Vicky. <laughs> He's got the <laughs> oh, good God. Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was an asexual, but I think I was wrong. You were wrong. I, I was, was wrong. wrong. I got the wrong vibes. <laughs> I mean, I still love him. <laughs> Suck He's it, Vicky! He's a robot! <laughs> I love him. What, what are you saying? I can't love a robot? Don't answer that. <laughs> the pun is totally lost on Calculester. He's too busy being horny. He flushes off to find- he rushes off to find Halo and you gain plus three fun for your good deed. Yay! I have fifteen fun! Uh, oh, so he's a fun person! Oh! I'm- where am I on fun? No! <laughs> I need to fix this! I need to fix this fast! Everybody chooses a part of their body. Say your voice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Wait, what? <laughs> what are we supposed to name? Oh, wait! Oh, well! <laughs> I 
forgot. I was so focused you on the fun. Fool. Why do you keep going I first? I win a game. Because <laughs> I probably would have won anyway. I forgot. Oh god, this is the last week. I have no time to raise my fun. I'm gonna panic. I'm you panicking. Do Why don't you just find something to buy that will raise your fun? I... Why do I only have five I... money? How do I gain money? You go to the library. But the person's in the library. Yeah, yeah, she is. You can probably buy some stuff. Who knows? Buy what? Hey, I need something for. Hey, for stranger. Bonus. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can you can look at my stuff. Oh, you're too poor for most of these things. Well, not most of them. Just hey, there's a present. It's free, and you can get something out of it. Uh, can I buy more than one thing? No. What is this? Badass tattoo, just add water. I feel like that's. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. What is in it? Oh no! Believe it or not, this is a very religious thing. Uh, what's it give you? I don't think it gave me anything. Pl click the button. It'll show you. Click. Just click the button. You know, just you know. It didn't give you anything. That's what to say. It, I gained nothing. You literally Actually, got nothing I think nothing I might have that. gained charm. I don't think so, though. I don't think you Great. did. Great, I wasted my turn okay, listening where do... to you! Wait. Oh! I get fun here! I'm going to get fun. That day, during recess, you start a half-hour raid that goes full crazy. Oh, so both of us can start half-hour raids. Everything is fine until Juan the small magical Latino cat asks what you think you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Musaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Musaka all together. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun. We're getting there. We're getting there. You see Calculester delicately applying water to one of his favorite little succulents with an eyedropper. He looks so peaceful. Until Leonard shows up and with a smug grin on his shitty face. Oh, oh God, so he's a gamer. Elaborate. He's one of the gamers that disrespects women. It looks like. Hey, Calculester, what you doing? Watering your succulent? Oh, he's a Kappa. I just realized that. He's a what? A Kappa's a water demon from Japan. Oh, uh, okay. I bet you think you are a true succulent fan, huh? I'm pretty sure they drown children. Oh. If by fan you mean one who has a strong interest or admiration for a particular person or thing, then yes. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, if you're such a succulent fan, name three of their albums. <coughs> I do not understand. HA! It was a trick question! Succulents don't have albums! A true fan would have already known that! But I assure you, friend Leonard, I feel the closest mechanical equivalent to love for my little plants. Love? Phantom isn't about love! It's about the wanton accumulation of memorabilia! How many succulent posters do you have? Oh, you made a sad noise. Zero. That's what I thought. Meanwhile, I've got 19. I've got more posters than I've got walls to hang them on. Looks like the only true succulent fan here is me! This claim is distressing, and yet I cannot disprove it. But you can! Time to let everyone know the ultimate standard for determining a true succulent fan. A true succulent fan has every succulent, including the uncut versions, and at least one succulent signed by its creator. God. That's impossible for him. A true succulent fan would actually be a fan. Dang it! Ah. I'm sorry, Calculester, I'm sorry! <coughs> <coughs> Is that true? If so, it would seem that the 36 internal cooling fans I contain make me a true fan? Oh, oh, whoops, I did- Whoops, I, I thought that was the Kappa. Is that true? If so, it would seem that the 36 internal cooling fans I contain, I contain make me a true fan after all. Oh, you contain- Oh, that's what they meant. That's what they meant by be a fan. <laughs> I didn't know! 
<clears throat> it sucks because I make that joke all the damn time. Oh, you contain fans? That's cute. Halo didn't say true fans contain fans. Me? I actually am a fan. Check it out. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Why are you making that noise? Why are you windmilling your small arms? I'm a fan! You clearly are not. Yes, I am! They continue like this for hours, neither one willing to give up. You're so hypnotized by the display of utter idiocy, idiocy that you miss class and lose two Careful, smarts. Mrs. One. <laughs> your smarts is down to your eight smarts now. Well, you have 20 charm. Listen, maybe your charm will. At least for I'm not trying else. to get with Damien, all right? You need to work on your boldness, Mister okay, Miss. Well, I feel Leg. like seven boldness plus 15 fun and 10 charm. <laughs> yeah, I don't want 20 charm. Dang close. I don't want 20 charm. Okay. Everybody choose an activity. Say your choice out loud for the rest of the players before guitar playing. Choose an activity. Um. I'm going to go with skateboarding for the home. Skateboarding and guitar playing. Player order is decided based on how controversial it would be if someone confessed that nine years ago the U.S. president forced themselves to do the activity in exchange for lots of money as part of a weird fetish. What did you pick again? Guitar playing. Neither one of these, I feel like, would be an issue. Yeah, I... I... Damn it! Ooh. Noon. It's lunchtime. I need to buy something. All right. I'm sorry, Lesser. Ah, <sighs> oh, you missed me and my shit, huh? No worry. I worry no more. All this shit can be yours if you have the money. Not me, though. Oh yeah, I need something fun. Carson! Okay, this is fun. Okay, I'm at 10. I'm at 10. I'm good. Hi, baby. Hello. Alright, it's on you. Go and sit with Damien. Uh, Poor, like, cap a bitch. Hi, Mama. Hi, Carson. I guess Hi, I'll just Mama. Hi, baby. Uh. Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? You mess with me, and then you try to sit at my table? Go away and get ready to die, fuckhead. You just eat in the corner in silence. Will you die soon? Who knows? Meanwhile, nothing else happens. And if you think this is unfair, next time, don't try to sit at the table of the person who has expressed his desire to murder you. Totally not a smart move. Well... <laughs> Jaylene, are you oh. doing okay? Hi. I should not have listened to you! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like if you started saying a bunch of crap like that, then he still would have tried to murder you. I huh? I Choose a historical figure. What? Historical figure. Theodore Roosevelt. George Washington. Picture this. Five years ago, this historical figure time-traveled to our time, and now they live in the present time. Player orders decided based on how likely you would buy a gossip magazine that contains hot info on how the historical figure is now in a relationship with Leonardo DiCaprio. I think I win. Uh, who did you pick again? Teddy Theodore Roosevelt? Theodore Roosevelt! And then there's George Washington. Yeah, you win. Oh, we're so close. Where are you going? I um, eat. Well, what do you want to eat? I get well, I, I guess there's no winning I now. I rock it. I rock it. Okay, we'll give you a party in a second. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. By the way, you just blocked the door for me to getting more fun, and I hate you. Sorry. <laughs> when you needed more boldness. 
At one point, Juan the Small Magician, Latino Cat, uh, happens- Oh, I- Whoops, I thought oh, it was the same you. prompt. I thought it was the same prompt! Afterwards, Damien comes up and punches you affectionately in the shoulder. You can still save this. Hey, asshole, go to hell. Like, literally, my house is in hell and I'm inviting you over. Don't read too much into it. <laughs> Only one problem. In order to get there, you kinda gotta damn your immortal soul. So how about it? What crimes against God and man will you commit so we can hang out? Uh, oh, I think I'm already damned. Looking into your eyes feels so good, it must be a sin. I'll run over a bunch of nuns with a lawnmower. Oh, no! I just clean these sheets. What did he do? I don't want him to wipe his nose on anything. <laughs> then pass me a tissue. Oh, right, I have them. Uh, I don't know what's with the pain. I like that, my nephew. I just don't like his germs. Mommy, yum. Yum. Careful, yeah. careful. Yum. Yeah. Careful. Yum. Yeah. Kayla, Ann, which would you... I have no idea! I was wrong the last time! <laughs> Dating games are so hard. You have to, like, know what they're gonna do instead of follow your own heart. Oh! Uh... Um, cool. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's not hardcore. It's not even technically a sin. We'd have to at least make out. Maybe do some butt, butt stuff. <laughs> God seems to hate butt stuff for some reason. <laughs> well, since there's a child in here, I will not curse anymore. Don't look so effing excited. This is just so we can hang out. I take no pleasure in this. I'm being kidnapped. Don't be kidnapped! We're almost to prom! A child is kidnapping me. You're pretty sure he takes some pleasure in this, and you definitely do. You gain plus two fun and one boldness. Alright. <coughs> okay, this is it. You take your turn, I'll be right back. Aw. You spent that day- You spent- That day you spent some time on the library's PC, mining some bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any- fucking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to two million dollars. Which is unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so plus two money. That sucks. Ah! A few minutes later, Calculester approaches you. You can tell he's nervous because all his fans are running at maximum speed. Hello friend, Halo. My calculations indicate that I process greater than average amorous feelings in relation to you. I'm consider upgrading our friendship to more than friends. However, quantitative analysis of the relevant data pools indicates a disturbing trend. If a potential love interest cannot get along with their partner's parents, relationship success probability drops to 0.006%. Sorry. It's okay. I have what you would call... I have what you organics would call a good relationship with the library computers that function as my parental units. I would like you to meet them, and receive their blessings, since you are such a kind, upstanding individual. This should not be an issue. Oh, fuck. Neither of those adjectives accurately describe you. More accurate would be horny and horny. Well, looks like you've got to concoct a brilliant plan to woo Calculester's parents. Offer to defragment their hard drives for them. Isn't that like a head massage for computers? Learn binary so you can converse with them in their native tongue. I'm terrified. This is, like, groundbreaking for me. If I get this wrong... This sounds like it'd be accidentally sexual and then he'd be upset. I think learning binary would be a good idea. Because it's like you go to a... Like, if you were dating somebody that whose parents spoke more Spanish, then you would learn Spanish to impress them. He's mine! He's mine! We, d we did it! You pick up a, a, a copinary of binary for- I'm not going through all that, and get to studying. 
you learn some basic conversational phrases like nice to meet you and I would very much like to practice intercourse with your son. Good. The date goes great. Cal's parents are so impressed by your linguistic chops that they give you his admin password. Hell yeah. Oh my. They seem to have given you administrator access to my system. With that kind of access, you could adjust all kinds of preferences. Screen resolution, plug and play, mouse sensitivity. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> your, your, your mouth is open in shock and horror. Are you okay, sibling? <laughs> I'm dating a computer, what of it? Plug and play and the, the mouse sensitivity. Fine, okay, the plug and play didn't sound weird to me, but that is all sexual. Everything. What? Maybe not the screen resolution. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay. But... <laughs> We're going. You're a little disturbed that his parents gave you intimate access to their son's most personal config files, but who are you to judge their culture? You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. Please. Please, I'm so terrified. Oh god, I'm not ready. Who are I'm you going not with? Ready. Who are you going with? He's right there. He's smiling at you. Are you ready? Do you want the headphones? I feel like I'm gonna. Here, put on the headphones. <laughs> you can go with yourself. No, do it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get rejected. Here you go. I'm gonna get rejected. You have eight boldness. I don't know. Go. I forgot. I forgot about that. He's little. He's good. He's sweet. Please. Let's do this. All right. Here you oh, go. No. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. God damn it! <laughs> prom <laughs> with you? Stupid fuck. I need spice in my life, and if you were a spice, you would be, um, some fucking bland spice. Aw, oh, the shame of your constant failures was so great that you secluded yourself in your room for years and officially started dating on your pillow. Waifu life forever. Well, I think it's because you didn't have enough boldness. I'm sorry. It's fine. I love you. Don't worry, I'll go to prom with you, with my computer boyfriend. <laughs> uh, you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Uh, what? <laughs> what? No! What? I thought he wanted fun! <laughs> no! <laughs> I have your admin- I have your admin code! <laughs> I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> um, I really thought I've you given had that this one. much thought. The thing is, my antivirus warns me you might bring some virus with you. It has labeled you as perilous. <laughs> Yet something on my insides gets warm when you're around. So, how can it be wrong when it feels so right? I think, I think I will install my antivirus during prom night. You know, to take my firewall down, just for you. I d he got me there for a second. He got me there for a second. I oh almost cried. Oh my god. Eggplant emoji. He's so cute. I don't know why he looks so buff there. I think it's because he's a square. You and Calculester danced the robot dance and even the robo boogie. You were smooth and classy. <coughs> Calculester wanted to explore life and hell yeah, you explored life. Later, when the night was ending and the sun started to rise, you two went to your place. There, you followed the wise advice you learned from the Evangelion. As Jendo Ikari once said, Shinji, get in the fucking robot. You won the most diplomatic smile. I- I did it. I did it. Wait! <laughs> I was about to say that this was like our last prom where neither of us had a date, so we just went with a bunch of friends and it ended no, up being like the best. No, you did go with somebody. No, the very last senior prom I didn't have a date. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, my first prom I had a date. And then you I turned out to be gay. I didn't know you were talking about real 
problem. I thought you were talking about the game. No, 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 not the game. Uh, yeah, I, 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 this is the second time I've gotten a date in Monster Prom. I usually don't succeed at this. Oh, he got me. Oh, look at all the new faces. Look at that guy. Did they have potential for being in the game? I don't think so. The game's usually the same every time. Look at that guy. Anyways. Oh, I, I missed it. Okay, after the monster prom, we kept on living our lives. Falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't super legal affair, so he had ended up in prison for arson. Fortunately, prison was flammable. Calculester went to the Robo University and majored in mecha robotics. He's now t He's now 250 feet tall and fights against weird giant creatures protecting Tokyo 3. Vera built, o Vera built the Overland Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they are also into a lot of sketchy businesses. But no one does anything about it. I mean, who the hell would try to stop Vera Oberlin? For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life. And then it was gone, just like that. Wait, I just noticed the flaming knight. That's so cool. The battle for monster prom might have ended then. But there are plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Yeah! I can't wait to see the pictures. Ooh. Hey, it's Calculester with Polygeist! We've gotten that one before, I think. Maybe I got it in one of my other games. Wow. <laughs> The music's so nice. I didn't hear it the first time. Lester watering his succulents because somebody's trying to water them with beer. Wow. The art in this game is great. They make all the characters look so cool and charming in their own ways. I like the idea of Liam kicking your ass at a board game. <laughs> Also, why are there two Frankensteins? I just re realized. This one's the boy, and one's the girl. Yeah, but like, there's not two fire demons. There's Slayer. Lester's so cute! Aww. He aquated like Scott. As a friend, probably. Aww. I think we got Next that one before. Next time we play, we should try for the same character. And, uh, oh, absolutely. That sounds wins. like a fun idea. And that might be a stream for another day. So the shop... Keeper is friends with people. I, we, I know we've gotten that one before. Let's get drunk on life's beauties. Look at us! Look at us! We went to the opera together! The shop now has a paper map. So vintage. You have unlocked new images in the gallery. Alrighty! And that's that. Thank you for stopping by, sibling. I appreciate you. Oh, don't forget to say your name to your chat. Oh! Yeah, I do that all the time. It's just that they expire after like a week, so I I download them so I can post them on YouTube at a later date once I've edited them down. Oh, which I will one day get to. One day get to. Yep. Anyways, thanks for stopping by, everybody. See, Jaylee, you want to say anything? Um, uh, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Twins! <laughs> we have the same mind and say the same things. You monster. Alright, everybody get some rest, drink some water, don't let allergies kick your butt like they're doing to us. And also water your succulents. Yes, and water your succulents with not beer, with water. And, uh...
don't give your children candy in the middle of the night if you know they're going to ask for more. Bye!